Good morning, friends and family. Uh, today is Tuesday, the 14th of April, and I hope everybody had a lovely long weekend. Uh, I had no videos on Friday or Monday because we were celebrating Easter, and those days were holiday days for us. Um, so today I'm going to continue on with the Counselor Carey cards, uh, the worry cards, and I'm going to kind of bring together a few things that we've already went over in our, when we were doing the cards. So on Wednesday, I talked a little bit about um, worry tracking and how our thoughts and our feelings and our actions or our thoughts or feelings behaviors um, are all connected. So for instance, if you start out with a worry thought like, oh no, I made a mistake or um, oh, oh, I'm going to be in trouble then the feeling that you have there is you might feel fear or you might feel guilty um, and then because you feel that fear or you feel that guilt then your action or your behavior is going to change and so the um, the action the behavior that could be many things if you maybe you might hide uh, you might tell a lie so that you hopefully don't get in trouble um, and then of course that can get you in even more trouble later on. Um, some people might run away. There's something called fight, flight, or freeze that we do when we feel like, um, like we've been threatened or like we're in trouble. And, uh, so some people might run away. That's the flight, uh, freeze. Some people might not be able to speak or say anything or do anything. And then the person talking to them might think that they're ignoring them or being rude. And then there's fight. So there, there might be, um, that could be physical, like you might push somebody or you might, um, someone might hit someone or they might use the words and they might say something mean or yell or something like that. So that's how our thoughts and our feelings and our actions or behaviors are all connected together. So the good news is that we can interrupt this cycle um, if our thoughts are leading to feelings that we're not comfortable with and that's leading to behaviors that we don't want and that we don't feel good about. So um, one of the things that you can do, believe it or not, it's something that you're doing right now and uh, but you're not really thinking about doing it. It's automatic. Your body does it all on its own, but you can think about it. You can change it and that can help slow down this process. And that is breathing, my breathing exercises. So uh, breathing, we're doing it all the time, but we usually don't think about it. It's something that our brain tells our body to do without us even having to think about it. Even if we wanna stop breathing, if we wanna hold our breath, we have to think about it and it can be really hard but we can also control our breathing and that can help us uh, stay calm, which when we're calm, then we're better able to make that decision about what our action is or think about better about that thought or what we're gonna do about the feeling that we're having. So there's several different ways that you can uh, really focus on your breathing or practice breathing exercises. Uh, and we're gonna look at a couple of, uh, of, care, of Counselor Carey's cards here. So the first one is figure eight breathing. And this reminds me a lot of the crazy eight or lazy eight breathing uh, from the zones of regulation. The lazy eight is right here. This is from the zones of regulation. And so this is pretty similar. So a figure eight breathing, you start with your finger right in the middle and you see there's some arrows and it tells you to inhale and exhale. So this is how we use something like this. And you could draw this if you don't have a printer um, to print out something like this at home. That's okay, you can draw it yourself and decorate it any way you like. So I'm gonna do this. My finger's on start and I'm gonna trace. So it says inhale right here and exhale here. So I'm gonna go. what that does is it helps us take nice deep breaths because you don't want to do it like this like really really fast because when we go really really fast and we breathe really really fast then that makes us feel 
uh, more worked up and more worried or more anxious, more more afraid, more likely to um, to react in some way that is not going to um, turn out well for us. <clears throat> so the figure eight, eight breathing, I like that one. Um, this is another that's really cool is rainbow breathing. So again, you can draw this on a piece of paper, um, decorate it, make it whatever size you like, put whatever colors you like. So on here it says inhale and here it says exhale. So I do all the colors. So I'm gonna breathe in, breathe out. So you can trace and breathe each color. And uh, the last one that I'm gonna show you is flower breathing. So there's a few different ways to do this. I have a poster back there about flower breathing as well. Um, so imagine that you have a fresh flower in your hand and take a deep breath and smell the scent of the flower. Now imagine you have a dandelion in your other hand slowly blow out your breath, watching all of the petals float away. So part of it is that we wanna to try to breathe in <clears throat> and then breathe out for a little longer than we breathe in. That's how we calm ourselves. If we breathe in um, and breathe out uh, quicker than we breathed in, then uh, that doesn't help us calm our bodies. That helps work, work us up a little more. So let's pretend we've got a beautiful flower, whatever your favorite flower smell is in this hand. And we're gonna go. And the dandelion is here. And while you're doing it, you can imagine the smell of your favorite flower. So bring in another sense of smell. And you can imagine all the little seeds going out from your dandelion. All right, friends. Well, that's enough for today. I will be back tomorrow and we will have some new uh, strategies to help you if you are worried or to help you feel calm. Take care.